here is a quick fix that I just found. Uh, when you receive this error, this usually happens when you have an email address. Maybe it's a new email address you set up. You send an email to it and you get a auto response saying that it couldn't be delivered because of this error 554571. Um, when this happens, it's obviously extremely frustrating. You probably don't know uh, what's wrong. And with all the DNS records and everything that there can be when you're setting up an email address, it can be really confusing. Um, and I believe I just found the fix that uh, most people are gonna run into. Um, so what does it actually mean? Your email is set up, but the server is rejecting it. So you don't need to panic or anything. Um, this is something that can be fixed. We just need to figure out exactly what's going on here. Um, the first steps that you should take is really just make sure that all of your DNS records are set up. So this is like uh, what's actually gonna route your email and uh, basically like your, your security on your email or your domain. Uh, so this will be done through your actual domain provider. So this is not done, if you bought your domain through, I guess, Google domains, although that's um, sunsetted, uh, whatever you've bought your domains through, that's what you're going to update the DNS records for. This is gonna be like a GoDaddy or a Namecheap uh, or a Cloudflare, wherever you're hosting your actual domain or you bought your domain from, that's where you're gonna fix your DNS records. Uh, so you're gonna make sure that your SPF, your DKIM, and your DMARC are all set up correctly. If you go to aboutmy.email and you basically uh, send an email to the email that it gives you, I'll just show you an example right, right here real quick. So if you go to your email and you send an email to rabbit.wrench.user, this will be auto-generated every time to be a different email. It'll send an email to this and then it'll send you back a report to show if you have any email deliverability problems uh, with your DNS records. That's the first step. If you have any issues there, make sure you get that fixed and that could probably be what's going on here. Um, however, with one that I, that I came across this morning, we checked all the DNS records were set up. It said, hey, you're good to go. DMARC, DKIM, everything's set up correctly. However, it still was not delivering. So that's where this fix came in. So basically what we found is that the MX record was not set up correctly. Uh, so this is what it will look like in Namecheap. You'll go down to mail settings. Um, I believe GoDaddy should look somewhat similar. Any DNS or sorry, domain provider should look somewhat similar, uh, but you need to make sure that your mail setting is set up correctly with whatever uh, email provider you're using. So for Gmail, they obviously have like a default here. If this is set up to mail forwarding, that's most likely what is triggering this error and the reason why it's not receiving email. So this is the fix that I found. If your email is not set up correctly here, um, then it's going to give you this error. So make sure that this is changed to Gmail. Um, and if this still didn't change it or this didn't fix it, basically try fixing this, send an email to the email again. If it goes away, if, that, if you don't get that error anymore, you're all good to go. But if this didn't fix it, go ahead and drop a comment or get in touch with me. Uh, we can figure it out. Uh, it's just a matter of you know diving deep into what's going on with your domain and your email address. And if you found this valuable, please go over and subscribe to jointhefollowup.com. Uh, we send out a newsletter every Tuesday and Thursday of all you need to know about B2B sales, things like email deliverability, uh, how to close more deals, how to find more leads, and anything psychology related or news related to, to B2B sales. So that's it. Uh, please hit a subscribe and I'll make more videos like this and peace.